Chris Bosch. From a 6'10", 225 pound skinny kid entering the league to a Hall of Famer, as Chris Bosch would become a member of one of the generation's greatest big threes in Miami, a champion, an all-star, and a gold medalist. Obviously, his resume certainly speaks for itself. He made the all-star team 11 times in his career, all coming in consecutive seasons. And Bosch also won two NBA championships with the Miami Heat in 2012 and 2013. And he also has his number retired in 2029 or 2019. And now it's my pleasure to welcome in Chris Bosch. And obviously, Chris, I think we all knew that you were going to be a Hall of Famer. You would be inducted at some point. But when you get the call, I can imagine there's a different feeling. What do you remember from that moment? You know, it was funny. I was just kind of going about my day, um, you know, working, making sure my kids are going to class, um, things like that. And, you know, it's, it's just been a surreal moment. Um, I'm really still catching up. My feelings are still catching up. Uh, but I'm so thankful for the committee. Uh, I'm thankful for the NBA and I'm really just thankful for basketball for always being there for me and just being an outlet that I could be great at. And it's just amazing that I'm here amongst all these wonderful, wonderful people. And, you know, we're celebrating this wonderful game. Let's dig into that, because obviously we know how special you were on the court and what you meant to the game of basketball. But what has the game of basketball meant to you? And in this moment of validation, what would you like to say about it? I mean, it's been everything. Um, the, the main thing that was going through my mind, it wasn't necessarily winning championships or all-stars or things like that, all of those cool things that I got to do. It was the bus rides. It was um, hanging out with my friends. You know, it was um, just having such a great time being a kid, you know, playing video games on the road, bunch of kids eating pizza in a hotel going out on those hot summer afternoons and just doing anything I could to, to be a part of it. That's, um, it, it was always my escape, my release. It was everything for me. Okay, now obviously fans and a lot of the media, we're going to point to 2010 to 2014 when you were making back-to-back -back finals appearances, mm -hmm. when you guys were winning two championships in Miami with the big three. Uh, how would you describe mm -hmm. your career, your journey throughout the NBA? You know, it was short-lived in my opinion. I wanted to play a lot longer. Um, unfortunately, it came to an ab abrupt end. But, you know, just looking back on everything that I was able to accomplish, all the friends that I was able to make, the connections I made, all the memories we were able to make together, that's what's most important. And coming uh, from a small town just south of Dallas, a place called Hutchins, Texas, um, and aspiring to be in this position that I'm in now, I, I can't tell you that I knew it was going to happen. I dreamed about it every day. I worked for it every day. And to actually see it manifest is just, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. But I hope that I'm, in, I'm, I'm a living example for, you know, kids, adults, everybody, all the young athletes out there that, you know, if you put your mind to something and if you put the work in, you know, and you have the visualization to go after your goal, um, you know, you can actually accomplish those things. So put that in your mind and, and you know, make it happen. Put the work in. <laughs> and you're a living proof of what putting the work in really can turn into. Your legacy goes on and obviously you're a Hall of Famer now. I hope you continue to enjoy it. It looks like you guys are having fun out there in Massachusetts. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.